Hi. Good morning to, to everybody. Thanks, thanks for coming. Uh, we have, uh, first of all, I, I apologize personally because uh, we have been delayed in this, uh, this webinar as a consequence of, uh, of, uh, of a delay, you know, in the, in the approval and the publication in the official Gazette of the, of the regulation developing the, the ad uh, in relation to the immigration visas for uh, digital nomads and uh, digital entrepreneurs. So well, first uh, of all, uh, here uh, we make a summary that uh, we did in uh, in the first uh, webinar that we that we make regarding the different alternatives that the digital nomads and, can uh, have. In the basically, world. we have, but, and, and this is not a, a thing that we have. Uh, this is uh, published in, in 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 all the webs or all the information that you can find through uh, through the web. So we we have the fastest internet connection in the world in a population in a country with a population of 80,000 people it's uh it's quite surprising so uh, honestly uh, i i didn't uh, expect you know that uh, we were the the quickest one probably for the uh, for the population but uh, but uh, honestly with a monopoly in the telecoms industry uh, we have uh, so, incredible uh, speed. it's possible that so you we have uh, can carry out your professional activity uh, remotely so it's a, it's a similar way from the digital nomad visa but the way to carry out this activity from andorra is incorporating a company so the way is okay uh, I want to carry out my professional activity, so I want to incorporate an Andorran company. So for that reason, I need to obtain an authorization from the Andorran government to uh, incorporate to uh, a company here in Andorra. So once you have incorporated that company, you have to pay a deposit uh, to the Andorran Financial Authority, a deposit from uh, 50, so sorry, see, 55,000 euros. So that amount you will, in any case, uh, get back, get, will be refunded if one day you decide to leave Andorra. So if you can move to the next slide, Jose Maria, uh, our assistants uh, can see a different, a general view of the uh, main requirements in order to apply for these kinds of residence permit. So as I said, uh, the, the, the key criteria or the, the key requirement is incorporate a company. Other ones is okay, yeah, you incorporate a company, so you must be a member of the, uh, the board of directors of that company, and you have to pay that deposit of 50,000 euros to the Andorran Financial Authority. If one day you decide to leave Andorra, don't worry, because you will get your money, that, that amount back. And uh, in general terms, uh, this kind of residence permit between three and four months can be obtained. So this is the most not uh, well, yeah, yes. In fact, it's the most easy way in order to come to Andorra. So uh, obtain the and obtain the residence permit. The the point that is not some interested interesting for some people. Okay, so you have to have that amount of fifty thousand euros, and temporarily you don't have that that money. So another kind of residence permit is uh, okay. I don't work as a self-employed person. I work as an employee for a foreign company. Is there a way in order to, I can carry out this activity from Andorra? Okay, it's, it's possible so that you can carry out these same services, but instead of working uh, for a foreign company, working for a local company in Andorra. So the way is, okay, you need to be hired by a local company and provide certain documentation to the immigration department, and that's enough. In this kind of residence permit, you will work as an employee for an Andorran company and you don't have to pay uh, any deposit, any amount to the Andorran Financial Authority. You don't have to incorporate any company. The only requirement is, okay, you need a working an employee, an employment agreement with an Andorran company and you have to prove to the immigration authorities that you have enough academical formation, a university degree or some professional experience. And with this, it's enough in order to come uh, to Andorra. This is a, a kind of residence permit that we recommend some for uh, people that want to come obtain example, income a, so that they can uh, receive income, for example, from dividends of, or from uh, uh, foreign companies and uh, doesn't require in order to, doesn't require to, to work uh, actively. 
So in that way, you can uh, apply. So you, can, you have to invest, sorry, uh, an amount of uh, 600,000 euros uh, in Andorra. And that investment can be made, for example, for purchasing a property or uh, investing in Andorran bonds or other kind of uh, financial assets or instruments here in, in Andorra. Other way is incorporate a holding company so that you can receive this income and in, and in any case you have to invest so that you want to say this is more yeah thank you martin uh, well basically uh, he explained it very well there were there there had been uh, different developments that uh, finally came into light and um, actually the government uh, as of uh, three two weeks ago more or less actually came out with a with a fully uh, regulation and uh, a law that uh, well uh, approved a new visa for digital no uh, nomads, which uh, would be, uh, I assume, the case of all the viewers and listeners right now. And uh, what happened here is that um, uh, they, they had limited spots for it. In here, it says uh, in this presentation that it's 100 per year, but as of now, it's limited to 50 uh, applications per year. So whenever we get to, to the maximum of the 50 applications, it, it, might be, it might get extended to 100 per year, but for now, it's not really, uh, it's not really on it. Um, uh, with that being said, um, there are, um, let's say, little uh, uh, application um, sites that need to be submitted. And that's quite easy to be submitted. The government actually, if it doesn't respond within uh, 15 days, that means that the application has been declined. As we know for now, uh, and on our professional um, point of view, uh, there will be so many applications going on that if any of you is interested to uh, be part of this uh, type of visa, uh, please contact us right away so we can prepare it as soon as possible. Because as said, there are only 50 spots uh, willing to, to be given away by the government. And... Uh, Although they might get extended, it's uh, it, it's important for you guys to to get ahead of it. All right. So in this regard, uh, please uh, do not hesitate to contact us for any further information you may require on the documents that are needed. That, as I explained uh, earlier, uh, quite honestly, it's not um, many documents that are required. But as you can see here at the presentation, there's an estimation of uh, four to six months on residencies in general or the opening of companies. But as I said, on the application for the visa digital moment, uh, if the government doesn't say anything within 15 days after its application, then uh, this application will be automatically declined. Um, the applications can be submitted starting on um, June 20th. So um, anything uh, before then, please contact us uh, right away. And as just, it says just, here, it <clears throat> sorry, you said just just for clarifying. I suppose that in, in in other countries they have the same uh, kind of uh, situation. So if the administration do not answer to something. The, uh, that could be positive silence or negative silence. In this case, it's negative silence, which is the normal way of, uh, of, of these kind of matters. But what is not normal is uh, so short term to get, you know, a negative silence. Negative silence is like a resolution because they basically haven't said anything. Yeah, thank you, Jose Maria. Well, then um, it's been very well explained by Marti, by my colleague Marti, the, the other um, options of visa that, uh, that the 
the country offers. But this one, I think it's a very interesting one. Uh, and um, we can all agree that uh, we need to hurry since uh, 50 spots are very few spots and uh, uh, we need to get ahead of it. Thank you. And just one, just one other thing, so, sorry, Jose Maria, just in order to, to point out, uh, in addition to what uh, you said, Joseph has, has told you, uh, we have to distinguish between two different process. The process in front of the Ministry of Economy and the process in front of the uh, immigration authorities. So from 20 June, you, we, we can apply for an authorization to the Ministry of Economy in order to uh, that the ministry recognizes you as a digital nomad. So this is the in, in, a, in this is what Joseph has told you that in a period of 15 days you will have the answer or not the answer of the Ministry of Economy. If the Ministry of Economy uh, answers the application and recognizes you as a digital nomad, okay, you have the first step, but you have to fulfill the other requirements just in order. To, uh, to meet the, all the requirements that are listed in the immigration uh, department checklist. So it's important to distinguish that the fact that the Ministry of Economy recognizes you and grants you the authorization to be considered digital nomad doesn't uh, de facto implies that you will be and you will obtain the residence permit because you will have to fulfill all the other requirements more that, that, that more than, than ones are similar to the past the, to the requirements in order to apply for other kind of residence permits. For example, that you will have to have a property, a dwelling, either by purchase or rental in, in Andorra. You have to have a, a private insurance. You have to provide some documentation. So it's important in order to clarify and point out that uh, distinction between the process in front of the Ministry of, of Economy and the process in front of the Immigration Department that are not the same. And in any case, the success is, gra is, is granted in, in both of them. That's all. Yeah, basically, and, and, and there are many particularities because in principle, uh, they uh, do not have to fulfill certain requirements, for example, that in comparison to the Arctic residents. So in, in principle, the digital nomad visa is uh, thought to work for uh, foreign clients or uh, foreign uh, companies, but not uh, for uh, making business inside Andorra. So can, uh, can you clarify this a uh, little bit uh, more for the, for the people? Yes, uh, especially, so I, I was reading the, the chat, uh, what has uh, Marie uh, uh, Marie's questions. So the thing is that uh, when Joseph has clarified that there are only 50 spots, is because in general terms there are in, uh, there are only 50 spots. Is you want to apply for the digital nomad visa, but there are other 50 spots for people that uh, are considered that contributes to the digital economy and the entrepreneurship of the Principality of Andorra. So the process is the same in the two kind of residence permits. So you have to go to the Ministry of Economy and in one way say, OK, I want you to recognize me that I don't need a geographical uh, presence in any in any kind of country in order to carry out my professional activity. OK, this is what it means to be a digital nomad. So if you can be considered as this by the Ministry of Economy, you can apply to the digital nomad presence permit in front of the immigration authorities. The other way, you can go to the Ministry of Economy and applies for that kind of re recognition that you are a person that country or you're a person, a person or a company that wants or can contribute to the uh, to the entrepreneurship and the digital development of the Principality of Andorra. And if the Minister of Economy says, okay, I recognize you as this, you can go to the immigration department and apply for that residence permit. In any ways, there are two ways. So, uh, there are little, little difference, but in any case, are 50 spots and 50 spots for each kind of residence permit. But it's not the same to be considered a digital nomad. So because you don't require a geographical presence in any country to create your professional activity, 
then you are going to contribute to the development of the entrepreneurship, uh, digital system, etc. in the Principality of Andorra. That's, that's the point. So the, the regulation entry in, in details uh, uh, on how the process works, basically uh, it, it includes uh, uh, meeting an interview. Our interview. I, I think it's very easy to do it. And, and we will try to clarify all the, all the questions and, and so on. Okay. Thank you very much to everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.